So, uh, how you doing, folks? Welcome back to Orange Chat Reviews. Tommy Lauren might be either showing ignorance or uh, hypocrisy. All depends on your definition. Now, I just saw this uh, interview that they had with her where she addresses the Rachel Ziegler stuff and she's nailing or hammering on a very anti-men stance that Rachel Ziegler is taking. Yet she had no problem with the Barbie movie because apparently she interpreted that the Barbie movie was going to be just a full female empowerment movie, but yet it also had very misandrist and man-hating uh, things about it. But she had no problem with that. And then she yelled at conservatives, basically calling conservatives assholes and stay in your lane kind of bullshit and uh, to pick your battles when she's a political commentator, not a uh, entertainment commentator. I mean, she can enter, or she can comment on entertainment all she wants, which she does in this. I'm not saying she can't, but she's always been known for her political commentary. So maybe she should stay in her lane. But here's the thing: she loves to hate on conservatives for the uh, they're going after the Barbie movie because, well, we are sick of pushing this sort of shit in movies where you are overly taking over. Or overshadowing the story and you are pushing political or social or social messaging that is going to send the wrong message to children who are bound to see this movie and who saw the Barbie movie basically Ken and uh, Barbie I do not think end up together as a couple and from what I hear from a lot of other uh, people who have watched the Barbie movie some like it some don't but there is a character in there who goes on this whole spiel about hating on men, smash the patriarchy, and other shit. And yet, let's listen to Tommy Lauren's words here. Uh, there's three different segments that she goes on here. But it's the one near the end that is, or of her defending Barbie and whatnot, that just reinforces this woman is either a hypocrite or massively ignorant. But let's hear it from the horse's mouth, shall we? Uh, Tommy, come on, give us your take on this. Uh, uh, Disney just messing with the classics? Yeah, they certainly are. Now listen, if Disney wants to make more woke films that tank at the box office, they are more than welcome to do that. But maybe think of an original idea. Maybe not destroy a classic from my childhood and put an actress in there that not only hates the plot and the storyline of the movie she's in, but also seemingly hates Snow White, the character, herself. I mean, that's one interview clip that you read the quote from, but she's gone on to talk about this film numerous times, how she once thought Snow White was creepy, she doesn't like the prince, she thinks she should get paid more because she has to wear that dress, she should get paid for streaming for every hour she has to wear the dress. I mean, talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Not only are you being casted in a classic film to remake it, but you don't seemingly like your own character. So she comes off as an insufferable, whiny brat, and that's why people are so annoyed beyond just them inserting feminism. I think we expect that at this point. But why do you have to mess with a classic, especially with someone who doesn't even seem to like her own character? Okay. So, yeah, there's another segment here. But, yeah, um, she's going off on Rachel Zegler for her hating on men, yet the Barbie movie gets a free pass in Tommy Lawrence a bit here. But, yeah, let's see what she also has to say about the whole hating on men bit. Think differently. They act differently. They have dis different aspirations in life. Yeah, it's okay to modernize things, but if you have such an issue with the original fairy tale and the original storyline, maybe instead of remaking it, you just make a different movie. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask for. But furthermore, listen, you can have female characters that are empowered, that do great things, that are their heroines. I mean, that's fantastic. I don't think anybody has an issue with it. But you don't have to disparage men in the process. You don't have to call Prince Charming a stalker. You don't have to say that you could just eliminate him from the whole movie. I mean, there is a space where you could have strong females and strong males. It's called the real world or you know, at least some places it still exists, maybe only here in Nashville, Tennessee and others. <laughs> but it's, a, it's okay to do both. And you don't have to make men seem emasculated and puny to make women seem strong. And you don't have to eliminate them altogether, as this actress has actually suggested. Well, okay. Mm. 
Now, the her defense of the Barbie film is right around here, so. In order to do that, and that's why, you know, going back to the Barbie movie, I didn't have an issue with the Barbie movie because it's what I expected, mm -hmm. right? I've always looked at Barbie as a female empowerment tool. I thought it was a women by women for women. Didn't see an issue with it. It's when they go and they try to monkey with other things where it doesn't belong that it just comes off as disingenuous. And they so basically what you're saying is that a movie that disparages men is okay because it's by women for women and yada yada. And yet, um... You seem to have a problem with the Snow White movie because, well, that's also being done by a woman, for women, by women. Where is it not, how is this not hypocrisy? How is this not hypocrisy? I'm a conservative, folks. I actually agree with some of what Tommy says here, but her hypocrisy here is very evident she goes right after Rachel Zegler. But then the Barbie movie, which has misandrist frickin' messaging in it, smash the patriarchy, hate on men, and all that shit, by other characters, not Barbie herself, but other characters. And yet, um, the original Barbie, from what I remember from my friends who played with Barbies when they were younger, and who other people who know about, more about Barbie than I do, all stated that the Barbie doll was created so that girls had something to play with but also to aspire to. There was nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom. There was nothing wrong with being independent and strong as well. There was nothing wrong with traditional relationships. And yet, um, that's not what they did with the Barbie movie going by what others have told me. I'm not going to watch that movie. I don't support that bullshit. The uh, bullshit being the misandry and the politicization and all of that other stuff in movies. I don't like it. And moder modernizing fairy tales is never a good story because these fairy tales take place in mostly medieval times in a fantasy setting where the modern sensibilities of today's real world have absolutely no fit. You are trying to put a freaking circle, a very large circle, into a very tiny square. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit. So, yeah, um, Tommy Lauren, you kind of got a hypocrisy problem here. And I really think that maybe you should stay in your lane, focus more on politics. I mean, you're a great political commentator. Do not get me wrong. There's some things I agree with, or there's a lot of things I agree with you on. However, there is some things I don't. But when it comes to your entertainment takes, you just shown that your wheelhouse is more to politics. Because you just contradicted yourself and you've proven to be a hypocrite. Folks... That's going to be the video. I know, a lot of people didn't like the fact that I stood up against a big conservative like Tommy Lauren. Well, to be honest, she is more right-leaning than I am. I am a right-leaning conservative, yes, but I am a constitutionalist as well. Something that she is also kind of deferred from. But anyway, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think she's showing hypocrisy here? Do you think that Tommy Lauren, liking the Barbie movie, misinterpreting its message, and shitting on the uh, Snow White movie, and interpreting it, or correctly interpreting that, is some, or is hypocritical? Because honestly... It sounds like a little bit of both, ignorance and hypocrisy. Anyway, folks, leave your comments down in the comment section below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Hit the bell button for notifications. Also, look down in the uh, description for all my socials. Anyway, this has been Orange Hat Review, or Reviews. Have a good day, wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.